I think the political life as we know it is also finished. You know, it's just, it's, they are now owned by the people who give them the money. So they don't care about you and me or anybody else. That's just, a, so something else will take its place. And you can see the beginnings of this in organizations that people love to hate. So Hamas, right? So Hamas uh, comes in and is, and it, it says two things really. Um, be part of us and you stand up against your, your oppressor. And if you're a Palestinian, you know what we're all talking about. And secondly, we're going to, no one cares about you really. They don't care that you eat. They don't care that you have water. They don't care that your children are educated. They, they don't care about you. We do. And organizations like this work very hard on those things. Whereas politicians say they do, but they don't. So here's the ridiculous thing, you know, Hamas, I'm not saying, I say Hamas is, is represented by all and sundry as an evil terrorist organization. But for, if you're a Palestinian living, you know, where you do, it's, it's your only, it's your only chance. And they've, they, they were not, they didn't just go stand up for yourself. We're at war. That was not good enough. <laughs> it's the fact that your kids go to school, you have clean drinking water, you know, there's medical help. That, so, and the politi the church used to do that and doesn't do that. The, bureau the government bureau bureaucracies used to do that and they don't do that. Someone, so I'm seeing the networks that we're going to come, when you start to buy food from each other, then you start to invest in the infrastructure that's going to make that better, you all. And then you start meeting each other and doing other things with each other. 